Hey y'all. What's up everybody? Welcome to the vlog. So this is a different vlog because- I wonder why she just got high pitch money. High pitch money? Yeah. I always say welcome to the vlog. Oh, high pitch money. Anyway, <laughs> speaking of money, we're here on our baby money. <laughs> Spending all the money. Spending money. And um, I realized that we're like a couple days in and I haven't introduced the vlog or anything. So I said, well. Once we again, <laughs> some vloggers we are. We'll go ahead and sit down and introduce the vlog while we got some time. Um, and catch you got. We'll go ahead and sit down and let you guys know what we've been doing while we've been here. Um, obviously we're in Savannah. Um, I'm sure, I don't know if I had that in the thumbnail or the title or, I don't know, but we're in Savannah and this is the first time we've ever been to Savannah. We've been through Georgia to go to Florida. Been through Georgia twice, three times. Probably more. Probably more. But, um, <laughs> we've never actually been to Savannah. So, um, we wanted to go to something different. Somewhere we hadn't been. That was like our thing when we first got married. We always said that when we go on trips, we would try to do... Different things. Different places and different, different places. Th and different we things. still haven't went out west yet. I would love to go out west. We'll be bringing a baby with us. But thanks to my wife here, my lovely wife, that's going to be on hold for a little what while. What do you mean thanks to me? Because I, I made this baby by myself. Did y'all know you can do that now? Yeah. What's it called? <laughs> um, Where you take the syringe and... Mm -hmm. Where did I get it from though, Cody? Well, I mean, I don't know. Bad, I can't tell you. Can't tell you. Anyway. I mean, so, you might have went to some doctor and found some match that's close to me. You looked through pictures and found somebody who resembled me. Cody, we're going to recap what we've been doing since we got here. All right. So, we got here at check-in time and um, absolutely loved our room. Still love our room. The bed sleeps. Fantastic. And we did a little tour of the room. I'm going to give y'all a tour of our beautiful room. This is from, we're going to ignore my feet. <laughs> I am walking straight in from the door. And to the right, we have my belly. <laughs> we have this full length mirror. And then over here to, we got robes. <laughs> to the left, we have our bathroom, which has double doors. Look at this. This is everything I have ever wanted. Yes! <laughs> In my life. So we have the shower with a, what is it? Rain shower head thing. Then over here is the toilet. There's a cosmetic mirror here that's got a little light on it. And all of this nice space, blow dryer. I've never heard of this brand before. But it looks super fancy. And of course we have stemless wine glasses for the water. And, and, and velvet. Velvet. We got velvet, young lady. <laughs> then we have what I looked for for about a month. A soaking tub. What? I literally that, looked. That opens up. Uh -oh, uh oh, to the room. To the room. This is this is fabulous. This is I can sexy. Sit, I can. <laughs> it's what? romantic and sexy. <laughs> so I can lean back and watch TV right from here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fantastic. Fantastic. And I can call for help if I need it. Your <laughs> phone. Yeah. All right, now walking on into the room, we have a little coffee area. I don't know what kind of coffee pot that is. CV. There's a bottle of life water, but it's probably twenty thousand dollars. Oh, it's five. Okay, Maybe still, I, I think they're a dollar at Walmart. <laughs> Here's the bed. This is a king size. Look at this gangsta ginormous headboard. And these linens on the bed feel like money. Have you touched them, Cody? Mm -hmm. Touch them, Cody. Mm -hmm. Don't you feel like money? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Then, look at this chair. Look at this chair. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm going to sit in here in this chair. Then we have our humongous entertainment center. This is the closet. Please show me the robes. The oh, look at the robes. 
Oh my gosh. Do I ha we don't have to pay to wear it, do we? <laughs> Probably. Oh, you can take it home for $89.95. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not paying to wear it, but I will wear it around the room. I didn't bring a rope, so I'm very excited. Then what else we got over here? Fridge and the ironing board. Ooh, okay. And another $5 and bottle of water. <laughs> and a safe and some drawers and our TV. Mm -hmm. And then over here is a nice little desk area with a radio that Cody was playing with a while ago, a bottle of wine that of course you have to purchase, and another mirror. But this room is probably the nicest, nicest room we've ever stayed in. Even, wait, yeah, even more so than the one we stayed in in New York. It was nice, but this is, this is, this takes the cake, y'all. After we checked the room out, we tried to figure out what we wanted to eat, and there was a place we were going to go to, but we found out it was already closed, which we ended up going to another day, but we decided to go to Lady and Sons, which is Paula Dean's restaurant. Paula Dean, original. I ate the buffet, and Cody got catfish. I got catfish. And um, the buffet was not, like, huge in any way, but the food was pretty good <laughs> off the buffet. The fried chicken was really good, and the pot roast. I think that's what I I, 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 I ate a bunch of it. I, I, ate a, I really like that. that pot roast. To my three strips of catfish. That was, was a lot of catfish. A lot of catfish. It was pretty good. Um, crust was just a little hard, a little crunchy. As far as me saying that I would go there again. Mm -mm. <laughs> we ain't trying to bash you. I ain't. I'm telling the truth. We ain't trying to bash I'm not bashing it. It's worth a try. Then we walked in the rain. And walked in the rain and walked in the rain and laughed and walked in the rain. Cody criticized my umbrella holding skills. Can't hold an umbrella to the first. I was, but then he also hit me in the head about five minutes after that with the umbrella. So I don't really know who has really no, the skill set. I was holding it. And a wind drift come through mm -hmm. and blew the umbrella mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. And the, mm -hmm. you know, it just said. <laughs> <laughs> so then we stopped into Nourish, which was a cute little, um, like bath. Homemade soap. soap. We smelled. Well, I mean, it was nice to be able to get out of the rain. <laughs> Stood in there and smelled everything they had because what are you doing? Oh, my neck's itching. Well, scratch it with your hand. I can't. Yes, you. One's holding my foot and one's holding me. Oh up. my god. We did get some bath bombs out of there and we came back to the room and enjoyed the bath bombs. They're not no lush bath bomb by no means, and I'm still a lush bath bomb girl through and through because those cannot be beat. But they were pretty good substitutes for the time. I still wish I would have had some lush, but there is no lush nowhere around. Closest one's in Charleston. So then here we are, day two, and I don't remember what we did day two. So oh, we got spa. a massage. Yeah. Or spa. And that, we had to that I um, had to sell one of my kidneys to, to get, pay for. To yes. Pay for. Yes. Yep. Um make sure that they, they, anytime they you, cut my kidney out on the table. Before the before massage. They the, give us the massage. Make sure before you book something that you ask how much it is. So, we got a brochure at the front desk on the first day. Didn't even look Didn't at even it. bother looking at it. It was like, yeah, we've we've been to hotel spas before. You know, we, we thought we had a idea of the cost. So, when we go a down the... A general idea. Yeah, so, when we go down to book it, the girl says, um... 50. Do you want the 50 or the 80 minute? And I was like, shoot. Give me that 80 minute. <laughs> and as I was saying that, she was like... Cause I'm gonna be honest with you. When you're in there for that 50 minute, it just don't seem long enough. And I was like, you just, you just back me up. Give me that 80 minute. Didn't ask how much it was, what the price. I'm just was. standing there like this one here just lets me. Let well, for our first time, she just lets me continue talking <laughs> without butting in. <laughs> I'm just standing so, there like I can't big money. So Go ahead. We order, we order two 80 minute massages, couples massage. She gets the prenatal. You got the signature one. I got the signature one, which I didn't know which one I was getting. I didn't know there was different. Yeah, we did. Different. <laughs> you act like this is our so, first yeah, spa we, appointment. We've been act like this is our first. So time. many. We every time we go out of town or if we are on vacation anywhere, we always stop at the spa to get 
A massage. A massage. We finally look at the brochure. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Now, they were really good massages. They were good. And we enjoyed them. And then they had a steam shower after, which was amazing. Yeah. And we're going to, I'm going to make me some eucalyptus shower spray when I get home. Because you just yeah. spray it into um, into the shower away from you. Not on your body. Yeah, don't put it on you and don't get in your eyes. You just spray it and the steam that the shower makes along with that was the best sinus thing ever. Really? And y'all know that I've had so much problems with my sinuses in the last week or so. That was amazing. I just sat in there for about six or seven minutes. I didn't want to get too hot. And then um, we we left from there. Oh, we went to the lunch place. So then we stood for we got two there, hours. We got there at eleven thirty-seven. We it were still was one thirty. So I by the think, time by we, the time we by, got in there to eat, by the time we finished eating, and we got back to the truck, it was almost expired. So we waited a long daggone time, and everybody kept coming out saying it was so worth it. So worth it. Um. I don't know if I would say that it was so worth it. Maybe it made them feel good in their head if yeah. they if they said that it was worth it because yeah. they waited for so long. The food was good. The food was good. There was a lot of food. Um, what a I ridiculous liked, amount of food. Yeah, what I liked about it was they already had the food sitting on the table before yes. you sat down. So they had your they had your drink. Well, sweet tea. They laid sweet tea out, and if you wanted anything different, you could ask for it. They had all about fifteen all or twenty the, different all the meats, all the sides, everything sitting on the table. So all you had to do was sit down, pray if you believe in praying, or or just go go to town eating. So you just and put it, your food and pass it, and you and sit and with like a, ten other strangers. Yes, it was a family style, so like a dining, you're sitting with couples or or people you don't know. But in order to get food, you have to communicate and pass food around like you was at the family table. Yeah, so it was um. <clears throat> It, it was, was a, a lot. Good, it was a good environment. Yeah. The food was good. Um, food was good. There was a few things that really stuck out that were yeah. good. Some things were bland. Yeah. Which makes sense. I mean, because you got so many different palettes there and you kind of want to, well, you that, can add salt and pepper to it. It was on the table. Yeah, that, After that, we came back and chewed for a little bit at the room. And then I was dying for one of the waffle things that I had seen on Pinterest, when, which ended up not being as wonderful as I hoped it would be. Then again, waffle was a little hard. Yeah, mine was hard as a brick. <laughs> like you could literally, I was tapping it. Now it looked good when it came out. I think Cody's was better than mine because he had hot peaches, so it I like softened his had waffle. Georgia peach cobbler. And I had the house special one, which had Nutella and strawberries on it. But yeah. it was just, I don't know. I am pregnant, so my taste buds are different, and I'm way pickier than ever. It was good. It was just the waffle was hard. Yeah. The waffle was He did taste hard. it, and I was like about to break my little plastic fork <laughs> trying to get into that thing. <laughs> and then for supper last night, we did pizza. And it was the best pizza I've ever had. Very good pizza. So I was I was stuffed, guys. I mean, I ate so much at, at Mrs. Mrs. Wilkes, and then I weren't even hungry when we went to get the, the waffles. waffles. So I, and I ended up eating the waffle, and I got a cup of uh, ice ice mocha. So I was I was stuffed. I was really stuffed. I mean, I would have been all right to eat the next day, twenty four <laughs> hours from that. But so I was hungry. She wanted pizza, and I was, I didn't want to get out of bed. I was I was trying my best to talk her out of it. Could we find somewhere that would deliver food? And she found a pizza place. She had her mindset on pizza. And they, they kept did not, showing pizza commercials. They did not deliver to here. To here, where we're at. So I, I finally got out, got ready. And I'm kind of glad we went because where, where the pizza place was. It's in the city market. Is in the city market and everything. There was a lot of stuff going on. Music was playing. Um, kids were Kids were playing. playing. They, they, they just had a lot going on. And uh, it, it turned out to be a pretty good night. But I yeah, was, the rain was gone. So yeah. and it weren't like super humid. It, it was cool. Yep. So we finally got to walk around freely and get to see a little bit more of like the historic or downtown, downtown. area. Um, so that was really nice. And that's how we ended. That's how we ended our night. So today has been a really really pretty day. Um, we got up late. Barely. We've missed breakfast. 
two days both, in a row. Both days. Yes. So um, hopefully we'll be able to get it tomorrow. So for breakfast today, since we didn't get to go eat breakfast that we've already, it's included in our room, we went to try out this little bakery place, mm -hmm. which is kind of in a semi rough neighborhood. Um, we wouldn't suggest going there at night, but definitely in the daytime, don't let the area scare you. Definitely check it out because those biscuits were banging. Yeah, biscuits were good. Yeah. I got the BBLT, which is bacon, lettuce, tomato, biscuit. Biscuit, yeah. bacon biscuit yeah. with lettuce and tomato. And it was a thick old piece of tomato, real thick bacon. Yes. And it you had mayonnaise no and Duke's pepper. Mayonnaise. It weren't no regular um, mm -mm. bacon. It was, no, this was like... I think this was... Uh, they get their bacon cooked. Like locally or something. Yeah. Cause this stuff was good. So I just got a biscuit with bacon and um, their homemade jam that they make in house. Mm -hmm. And it was good. And Cody got some coffee that we shared yep. a little bit of. Um, and then we decided to walk around Forsyth Park, which is directly across from our beautiful hotel. It is very quiet and quaint over here. So if you don't want to be in the hustle and bustle of. If you know what quaint means, Give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> Cody's out here making friends eye squirrels. contact with the squirrels. And these squirrels are different squirrels. They want to talk to you. They literally, like I was talking to one from a distance and he started coming towards me like he was I'll chatty. I'll be your friend, I'll be your friend. I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> we speak from a distance. We don't need to get that close. Thanks to the rain, it ended up not being, it ended up not being like ridiculously Hot. Hot. We might go get in the pool right now. I don't know. We did want to plan and go find some time to go see Aladdin this weekend since this is our free time and we like to go to the movies. Especially now that there's a I Disney got a movie lot out. Of work to do this summer. Yeah, so but he's gonna make some plans to see Lion King when it comes out though, whether he knows it or not. We gotta go see Lion King. It's gonna be monumental. We gotta. I think we got like a month left before it comes out or something like that. So we gotta go see the Lion King. Give us a comment down below if you've already seen Aladdin. Don't, don't tell us how, it. I mean, we know how it goes because it's Aladdin. We've seen Aladdin a million times, but we're excited about Will Smith being the genie. Super duper excited about that. Um, and if you are ridiculously excited about the new Lion King, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below who is your favorite character from Lion King. Lion Who's your King. favorite character? Rafiki. Really? Yep. He's smart. I like Rafiki. I like Rafiki. Um, mine would be Simba. I was gonna say Simba. Yeah, but. I like Simba just because of seeing him. He wanted, like, he was aspiring for this greatness that he had in his future, and then you know he he kind of like you know got down on himself for a little bit and beat himself up, but yeah, he finally got everything back together. But that was due, for that it. was due to Rafiki, or not. Well, yes, but and it took Rafiki him. And Nala. It took his inner. You know, you still gotta accept ah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. But if Rafiki hadn't hit him across the head with well, that gourd, yes, wait, cane, yeah, gourd cane, <laughs> cane gourd. <laughs> oh, so yes, leave us a comment down below and let us know who's your favorite character and why. Because we love, I love Disney movies. Cody likes them too. He he's got to admit you like. walking down River Street, not River Street. I was saying not River, River Road. Um, we ate at Tubby's and it ended up being pretty good, but I couldn't eat. I feel like we've done nothing but waste 
waste of food. But we're heading to a little shop down here before we head back to the room. I try not to overdo it so I don't be in a whole lot of pain because my lower back will go to screaming at me in the worst way. So I'll show you a little bit of this, um, this store when we walk in there. Today is Sunday, Cody's in there brushing his teeth. I just uh, tried pulling this hair up, making it look somewhat decent, but it is what it is. Um, we slept very good, just like we've slept very good every night. <laughs> this bed in this room is like everything, so it makes it really hard for you to get up and make it to break for some time. So we've slept in as much as possible, um, which is what we wanted to do on this trip. Um, but we're going to get some breakfast at the um, restaurant that's associated with the hotel which is 700 Drayton or Dayton or something we got like credit with our room to go to that restaurant to get breakfast and we haven't gone yet so maybe they'll let us use the credits that we haven't used to get like a real fancy breakfast <laughs> I don't know but we're gonna head out there um, and um, hopefully it's good cuz I'm hungry and um, we ain't got but like 40 minutes left until they stop serving breakfast. So I'm gonna need Cody to like hustle. enjoy our breakfast this morning yes yes it was quite the wonderful entourage. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what entourage means obviously not <laughs> kind, of, kind of sort i know that we were real. i don't want to use it it's not fancy east taylor street this one yeah this one okay so we've decided to finally get up out of the bed we were watching G.I. Joe, which has my the favorite. Right left onto the ramp to I-16 West. Okay. My favorite, one of my favorite men in the world, besides this man. Baby, I hope this cat's gonna stop. <laughs> so we're going to Pooler, which is a city in Georgia. And it's about 20 minutes from downtown. And there just so happens to be, whoa, can't see nothing from over here. Um, shopping. I want to say there's an at home over there. Cody's never seen an at home. So we will. Um, it's a big, big, big store that me and mama went in in Charlotte. Well, that's a nice little area. Look at all those trees. Can't really see them, but it's Chatham Square. Yeah, all of these square places are on that map. Jeez. Cause you to go in preterm labor. There's a traverse behind us. Hello. But, um, yeah, so we might go in at home because the movie doesn't start till 2 and it's 119. Or we might get food. I don't know. I'm not really sure what all's around it, but it's like, it looks like there's the outlets. Um, like right across the street. It looks like to be like a shopping area. It looks like a pretty nice shopping area from what I can see. So we'll see when we get there. Got a special icy made, blue, red, and blue. And now we wait for it to start. Hey. What'd you say? I like you. What'd you say? 
You're pretty. Don't drink all my icy. I'll fight you in here. Yummy. Hello guys. It's our last hurrah. Hurrah. In Savannah. And Georgia. We have decided to wear our robes. To bed. <laughs> well, not to bed, but we're chilling in them in bed. These are really comfy. I wouldn't pay. I wouldn't pay eighty-five dollars for them, comfy, but they are comfy. Eighty-five. They were eighty-nine. Are they? Tell them about our movie situation. I thought it was very good. I thought it was really good. I think that it is the best live-action Disney movie that they have come out with thus far. They picked. Really good characters for that movie. Perfect. Will Smith, which we knew was going to be perfect. Because <coughs> he's a nut. He <laughs> was beyond perfect for this role. I would have loved to seen him in action. Like, just all the... I bet there were so many cuts in this in this movie. Oh, you where mean he like actually just, filming yeah, it? Yeah, where he was just... Playing the devil. Playing the devil and they just, just couldn't get it... Well, I'm not going to say they couldn't get it right, but... Yeah, I, I, I'd have loved to see him in action, live time. In his, in his element. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah, that and I, I did love, if you haven't seen it yet, this is not really giving it away, but I loved that you could tell his parts had his touch on them. So I really did like that they didn't keep it so traditional, I guess. Yeah. I did like how... They kept majority of it, so they, they did keep the main storyline. Of course, they added a little bit of stuff here and there to make it of, of more course. lengthy. That, that's expected. Um, and I did like the new song. Um, actually, I, thought it, I was sitting there thinking the whole time how this would be such a good pageant talent song. <laughs> speechless. And, the and, Speechless yes, song she sung Miss, would be. Miss Naomi Scott. She can, can sing. She can sing. She can sing. So Jasmine she can, can sing. sing. Um, I just thought the whole time I was sitting there, I'm like, somebody should sing this in a pageant, because I just thought it was just like a yeah. a super good ballad for somebody yeah, to that, just that was if you good. can really if you can sing. I just thought it would be really it would be really good. Uh, yeah, and we finished off today with some chicken and waffles at Metro Diner, which were very good. I didn't and, even film in and, there. In Pooler, in Pooler, yeah, in Pooler, yeah, Georgia. So for the last time, I took a bath. In my tub. I'm gonna miss my tub. Very nice tub. Don't it make you want to hurry up and build a house and nope. build a tub? Sure don't. We'd be a lot cheaper to go stay in a hotel for a <laughs> night or two and and um, give me a tub. And I don't use know any other hotels with tubs. Honey, there's tubs everywhere. We will see y'all in the next one. We hope y'all have a beautiful and blessed day, y'all. Bye. Jeez. And we're live in three, two. Of course, mine was. If you don't stop, I'm gonna punch you in the throat. <laughs> well, I said. Hey, girl. I must hit you, girl. Sorry, girl. Good gracious. Yeah. God. Why did you do that? I would've been fine. What are you doing? Well, look. Why do you keep hitting me? <laughs> oh, sorry. No, you're not. It's the second time. No, Baby, I'm trying to focus on driving. You won't ask me questions. <laughs> He's so perky today. Oh, the perk is real. Uh, good. Don't do it, Mabel. Mabel, you're on camera. I will not cut this out. I will show the world how you treat me. You make things so difficult. We ain't watching no movie. Goodbye.